Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never duplicate. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Right now I'm with the Charvel body again. And as you can see, it's got a clear coat on it now. It's not the final clear on here. I do have to do a little bit of a wet sanding. There's a couple of bugs that got into the finish over here. No matter where I spray, how I spray, I end up with something in the finish. Luckily it is on the last coat that I ended up putting on here so I'll be able to sand it out not a big deal and then I want to shoot this again with a couple more coats at least three more coats of the 2k clear glamour spray on here and right now I got a little bit of some tape lines over here not much that's why I like using the uh, vinyl masking tape the blue stuff that I had on here for doing striping you don't end up with a really bad tape line so this is not going to take much to knock them down and I might be able to get away with possibly just buffing this out after I kind of judge how much clear is on here after doing my first sanding on it but I want to put another couple coats on here just to seal it off make a nice durable finish on here it came out really nice as far as the spraying goes trying to save some of the yellowing of this this is supposed to be a pearl white now outside in the sunlight you do see some of the pearling of the white that's on here not so much where the yellowing is really bad but you do see it and uh, it looked really nice outside after I got done clearing it and I let it dry so it's been drying for about let's see two and a half days now and it is pretty much has a hard shell on there I cannot leave my fingernail in any of it it just slides right off of it that's what I love about that 2K spray. So I'm going to go start getting into wet sanding right now. You guys have a good one. You can watch it if you want. If not, it's just going to be a boring sanding video. Alright, so the top and the edge has been sanded flat. So I used 1500 grit sandpaper and what I did is I knocked down all the tape lines, got rid of all the orange peel and everything is nice and smooth now where it's all even with each other. There's no lip at all around any of these edges. That'll make a real nice for the second clear coating of this thing. And uh, yeah, so now all I have to do is do around the edges and then the back of this thing too so I can even everything all out. I want to put a nice little uh, flat surface as far as the color of this. I don't mean flat as in being flat, I mean flat as being dull like this here and like this here after the water is drying. Everything has a dull so it has the clear has something to stick to when I put the final coats on there. So this the top is ready right now for the last and final coats of clear. I just have to work on the back now so I'm not going to make you watch that but so this is basically this is basically it. All the shininess is gone whatever it is like over here there's some just little bits of dots over here of shininess that'll all get filled in with the nuclear there's no pink anywhere on the white that's showing me that I didn't cut through the clear coat all the way through and it still has the red sealed with some of the clear if I go any further with this, like if I try to get rid of any of those little dots over here, I probably would go through the clear a little bit and then it'll start turning to white pink. And that's what I don't want. Because if it starts turning to white pink, especially if you let it dry for a little bit, it'll end up staining and keeping the white pink. And I don't want that. So right now, I'm going to start working on this back. 